To this case okay so this is like a new thing and that is the whole truth of this case apparently okay i don't know anything i forgot what happened so this is like brand new voice low better maybe it's because i'm farther away is this better ba 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 Ugh, I'm gonna close the window. Hey. In order to understand it myself, I had to know the story of the last seven years. Look at all this black processing. This was a previous case we saw. Is the voice better? Or is it not? Let me see, is my voice okay? Says it so? Nothing happens by chance. All is connected. <laughs> eh? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, good. Hopefully this voice is better. And now, you stand ready to begin the final chapter of this story. Oh my god, this is the final chapter of the story. to be found guilty or innocent. The decision is mine. Oh no, it's Gavin. The other Gavin. Who, who's gonna sound exactly the same as the other Gavin because they're both German. Okay, anyways. October 7th. 10.37 a.m. Write anything agency. God, I hate you see. Hey, you Paul, look on the TV, look more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm kind of busy. Whoa, look at that! He's the last Grammarie! Alright, amazing! Paula, you should be watching this! Oh, whoa, 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 what? What? I was writing about our last case in my journal. You're always supposed to write things in records, Apollo, not journals. And why now? That case was three months ago. Ah, hey, long story. I did a lot, you know. I want to vacuum pack the feel of the moment later. Right now, I'm, I'm wowing the crowd by figuring out how Lemuria disappeared. That's right! Uncle Valiant did that illusion too! Sick burn by Trucy. Duh. I hate Trucy. But you're missing him on TV right now! I was just getting to the good part. I'm supposed. To, I suppose I should watch the little TV with her. After all, Paul's is expecting me to look after her while he's away, which sucks. The announcer's like, Wow, we! What you're seeing now is rehearsed for a great magic show on Earth. 
happening right here at the very own Sunshine Coliseum. Sunshine, that's interesting, because the Sunshine Coast is nearby. Anywho. <laughs> the Sunshine Coliseum? Hey, that's where the Gaviniers concert was. Hmm, only three days. <laughs> More days until the miracle happens here, right before your unbelieving eyes. <laughs> the legendary true Grammarly is performing for the first time in seven years. I like the sideways one. Wow, well, that's gonna be a great! I'm so there! <laughs> you and Daddy are coming too! Ugh, Daddy. The legendary Grammarly's, eh? Well, if Trucy's real father were still alive, he'd be on that stage performing miracles, I'm sure. I got tickets and everything! Here's yours, Apollo! Magic show tickets received. Ah, you're here. Working hard or hardly working. Please be just- Oh, thank god, it's just my voice. Hey, how you been? Hi there, stranger! Not exactly the kind of greeting I want to hear from my own kid. No, he's been gone a long time. Ah, how goes it, Tracy? Here, I got a present for you. Yay, pudding, I love pudding! Wowee, it's oh wow, it's far fresh, me! <laughs> and not just one pudding, but three whole cups! Wow, I'll have to pace myself! That was not a squeak, that was a thud by the door, right? Like, it was just like squeak, it was just like, kerchunk! <laughs> like, that's the... <laughs> like, that's like a really beefy mouse squeak, you know? If they slam open the door with authority like that? Anyways. Well, I'm me. That's right, Daddy, you're the top secret mission! You gotta take it easy with the secrets, you know? <laughs> Bariton mice to the <laughs> rescue. Ha ha ha, how right you are! Wow, that worked perfectly. So, you still can't tell us what your mission is, huh? Maybe it's time. It has to, something to do with you anyways. Whoa! Huh? With me? Ooh, maybe you're getting a top secret mission too! Maybe you can be one of those guys! Spy! Mm. Can I just be a defense? Ah ha ha! To be honest, I knew about the mission with my whole reason for coming here today. What? Tell me. Heard of the jury system, yes. Oh, the jury system? Mm, that's right. Whole new legal system everyone's all brave about. They're all talking about it. Have you heard of it, Apollo? Maybe not as many people are talking about it as I thought, I guess. Hmm. Juris system, huh? Oh, you know what this is? Beep. Okay. Hey, me. Let's start talking. So, Daddy, what's the jury system thing? God. Well, Percy, you know what a jury is? Ooh, I've heard of it! Isn't that those people who sing the court of the old courtroom dramas? The ones who get inside the guy's innocent or guilty? Do you know, Apollo? Ah, only from TV. It's 12 people chosen from the community, right? Well, they're thinking about reviving that system. They call it the new system, the Jury System. No, by doing whatever you like, Your Honor. Mm, not quite that much. The jurors cooperate with the judge. They help analyze the case from a different angle. Ah, and there will only be six of them under the current proposal, right? Wow, you know your stuff, Apollo. Ugh. Their findings directly affect the verdict. Hopefully, people will start taking the court a little more seriously. I feel like I'm on some kind of educational TV show. Starring Dr. Wright. But that was not Dr. Haha, Dr. Wright is assistant truth. And Mascot Apollo, the perfect team. Mascot, what the hell? Hey! Listen, me. So, what is the secret mission all about? The general system is my mission, more or less. Anyway, keep that in mind, the new idea of the system, and you're always risky, Apollo. Too true. Everyone's got an opinion, and they, they, they talk and talk, and nothing gets decided. Kind of like you, Apollo. Ah, not that bad. 
give it a shot. Test. Ah, I don't like tests. Well, take take a case as an example to choose six journals. I'll be the one helping with that process initially, or incidentally. Help helping? How? Well, why not be the chair of the Juris System Simulated Court Committee? The chair constructs the ideal situation, choosing a case and Juris candidates. The judge and the court. Wow, it's like you have a real job. I was never good at the good. Uh, I was never good at the piano, to be honest. Once a lawyer, always a lawyer, I guess. <laughs> Trial tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss it. What? The trial simulation, I know it is. Simulation, how huh? sounds interesting. I have to pick up a delivery at my door. Oh my god, what is this backwards day? I mean. So, what kind of case is this trial simulation about? Well, since it is the first run of the system, I want to try something simple. Good thinking, no sense wearing yourself out on something you're serious. True. Case is murder. That sounds simple at all. Why simple did you mean the defendant is guilty? Yeah, most likely. The guy loves killing. So, good luck, Apollo. Uh, with what? Well, with the trial tomorrow. You're defending the. You're defending, of course. Recall that I said I had something to do with you? Go for it, Apollo! It's just a test case anyways, no sweat! Yeah, but there's still a verdict to be decided. Hmm, and potentially serious sentence. The most serious in a worst case scenario. You mean the verdict's for real? That's not a test trial, that's a real trial! All the forms have been filed. There's no turning back now, you gotta do this. Listen, I told everyone you're cool. The trial's tomorrow at 10 a.m. I hope you can make some room in your schedule because you gotta freaking be there. Why am I only hearing about this now? Ah, yeah, yeah. So, no, there was a change this morning. Yeah, I picked a new case. Ah. So, something that happened last night. Wait, before we get to that point. Hey, Apollo, you know you're all excited about the secret mission? But what about this? The true Grammarly Grand Magic Show. Hmm, right. Card tricks. They're not card tricks. The Grand Illusion here because the apocalypse heaven and earth is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if there's three old days? Whatever. It's at the Sunshine Coliseum. Let's go. Let's go today. We could just say hi to Uncle Valley. Have fun. What? I can't go by myself. You know I'm not very outgoing. Right. Hmm. Why not go with them? What about the secret mission? Ah, don't worry about that. We hear about it tomorrow, regardless. I'm gonna trust that smile. I know something's not telling you. Yippee, now you can take me to the Coliseum! <laughs> Suppose it wouldn't kill me to pop over there and check that out. <gasps> Grammarly, that reminds me. What is it, Daddy? Hmm. Isn't that Silk Hat the Grammarly seal? Consider it a birthday present, Trucy. Thanks, it's great, but today's my birthday. <sighs> yeah, that's a good point. What day is today, Apollo? Friggin' uh, October 7th, or 2nd. Uh, I think it's Recycle Your Plastic Day. Then it's Recycle Your Plastic Day, Plastic's Prison. Yippee, so it's plastic! Hmm, given up on trying to understand them, it's much easier that way. Oh, what is this? Can I open it, Daddy? No. Huh? <laughs> hmm. You'll need to, you'll need that envelope someday. Someday soon. Don't open it until then. Well, why don't you just seal, hold on to them until then? That would be the logical thing to do. <laughs> I get it. An envelope of gra the grammaries, eh? I don't know if I'm saying it. All right, so, what case are you going on to use? You really want to know, don't you? Of course I do, I mean, I'm going to be defended, aren't I? If all goes well, then yes. Of course, this is just a test. We all wanted everyone to start uh, without preconceptions of blank slate, as well. There's a difference between having a blank slate and just being clueless. Whose dumb idea was this anyway? No, not really. Meaning chair, remember? Oh. You're a freaking idiot. Well, you 
want to know that badly, I suppose. Give you permission to examine the scene of the crime. Good. That's better. Hmm. Then you can't talk to anyone involved in the case. What? But how am I supposed to defend? Ah, you let me worry about the details there. Just remember, I'm in charge of this trial. All of it. But you don't want to backfire, do you? Apollo, if I'm in charge of the whole trial, that means the entire affair is my responsibility, for good or bad. Just do what you can. And ah, uh, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. You're all right. Hmm. I'd recommend going down to the detention center. The client's waiting for you. You can ask about the cases there and all that stuff. <laughs> I am once again present in your audience. Oh god. Oh god, I gotta get this quick. Jesus. 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 Why can't I find it? Oh no, this is terrible. This is actually the worst. This is the worst that could possibly happen. Oh no. Oh no. The nightmare. This is a nightmare. Ooh, actually. <laughs> hey, I'm kind of feeling this now. I can't talk about that. I can't talk about that. Soccer. Right? Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Hmm. I think I'm going to put my picture here. What do you guys think of it, crowd? They love it. They love that I'm in a new spot. Like, I... Be good. Okay, guys, you gotta be quiet. I gotta get into the game. So anyways, but you just said I couldn't talk to anyone involved. Oh, you can talk to your client. If you can get her to talk. Well, time's wasting. Ugh. All right. Let's go find this stupid, dumb person in here. Hit them with my face. Okay, October 7th, detention center. Oh, I was right when I said 7th and said 2nd. I shouldn't have second guessed myself. That's 20 minutes we've been waiting here. 20 minutes. Maybe we should complain. I'm sure that guard had better things to do than stand there pretending he doesn't see us. You know why? You know, the minute we get angry, the client will show up. Happens every goddamn time. It always works that way. Like shouting, oh, waiter, and then they're right behind you. Oh, guard! Is our client going to be much longer? Man, what are you talking about, see? Haven't you already started the meeting yet, man? Huh? Eh. Where'd you come from? Well, anyways, please have a seat. You can't keep it. You can use it. You can't keep it. Don't nervous, Apollo. Uh, it's the silence that builds suspense. Oh, why don't you do something, Trucy? You're a freaking magician, aren't you? That's right, okay. Oh, I love Mr. Hat, though. Oh, I'm the amazing Mr. Hat. Hmm. Miss Magic Underwear might have been a better bet. Stupid freaking. Ugh. The Maddie Panties, Apollo. Of course. Well. Hey, you. Introductions. Um, uh. Hi. Well. I'm your defense. I really think that. Uh, I really think it has to be fate, you know? My fate, I mean. Destiny. Did you know I'm good with astrology? Tell me, what's your stupid sign? You look like someone who likes that. If I could tell you mine if you'd like Apollo. No, I don't, I, never mind. I, I got carried away, man. Hmm. I see, 
destined to get <laughs> to get difficult clients, it seems. But oh Jesus, this game is on fire today, right? Like like destined astrology, right? Yeah. here for myself. <laughs> I need to ask for direct myself because we're going nowhere fast, right? Because we... <laughs> well, that was fruitless. This is a terrible season for budding fruits. Though I think I understand despair a little better now. No wine, no fruit, no cider will be made this winter. We will just have beans, and corn that has been dehydrated in a silo. <laughs> you did good, Apollo! Well, yeah. Look, she's doing her nails! What? Her nails more important than her defense? Sad. <laughs> bean? <laughs> bean wine? Let's go, Trucy. <laughs> I don't know the voice, but it's gonna be Excuse me. Uh, could you read this? Ah, sure. Okay, I feel like a teenager on the first date. Why would you feel that for a murder victim, freaking creep? Anyways, and this is a love letter we passed from the desk to desk at school. Oh, this is so funny, right? This is this isn't weird at all. This is actually uh, this is supposed to be hard for me. I think that this Oh Jesus, I gotta get this out. Okay. Stop looking so wistful and read it, Apollo. It business cards. The name and address. The name is Verna Mishan. Hmm, the address is Okay. You're giving me this card. Yeah, because. Well, looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew Studios is the scene of the crime. Let's go find out, gang. Pew 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 Okay. October 7th. Drew Studios. Ah. Look at this. What is it supposed to be? Abstract art? Psh! Landscape? Psh! What is this? Some sort of freaking... Actually, okay. This is actually gonna be cool. So, let me analyze with my hand here. So, if you look at this picture here, this one is actually a creation one. Because, see, this is the stupid sun, this is the moon, and this is the flat earth floating through space near another sun that it's probably fighting. This is a crappy freaking Picasso ripoff. It's like, oh, look at me, I make lines and I'm freaking deep and no stuff, whatever. And this, crappy Bob Ross. Not that good. I can pick better than this, it's garbage. <laughs> it is a COVID virus cell. It is not. But now that I, now, you know what, now, 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 you know what, this? Like the big blob here, like this one? It kind of does look like a COVID cell. See, and this is this is my my immune system attacking with fire, and this is the uh, you know there we go. That's 
the end of the road. <laughs> For the virus, that is. Is it better up here? Or here? Or here? I can bring myself there. Good. Okay. So back to the game. Wow. This looks like, looks like a studio. It's like life imitating art, or maybe it's the other way around. But the tape on the ground is a bit jarring. Yeah, looks like we found a crack. <laughs> Paul, look at all these paintings. Hey, don't touch those. Ooh, it's okay, I'm just looking. Crappy Picasso. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Yeah, and this is a crappy Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, Paul, look at this one. It looks half finished. Still see the rough sketches on the That's odd. Work part doesn't look that like the rest of the painting at all. Mm, yeah, good point. That is odd. Crappy painting. It's a, it's a puff for COVID. COVID fit. COVID. COVID a fish. COVID fish. COVID a fish. COVID a fish. Like imagine like COVID and fish and then add it together with an eye. COVID a fish. It's like a covidiform. It sounds like something from biology, right? And it was just like, ah, oh, you see, there's a big old puff in the covidiforms. The covid, <laughs> the covid, the covid fish are all puffed up these days, full of vaccine. <laughs> just some fake science crap. Anyways, all the paints have really different art styles too. I don't know who this is. This is just some guy. He's gonna be like. Eh. I thought I might find you too here. Oh god, it's her. Give me a little time no see. Oh, that seems like I run into you too far too often. I bet I know why you're here too. Mm. You know about the trial simulation, bro. I've heard about it. Sure. Uh, so, Mr. Red, chose you, huh? Well, we don't even know what that case is about. Well, he was killed. The other two owns the studio, that is. Mr. Drew Misham. Misham? Oh. Misham! And his daughter was put under arrest? Yeah. We just saw her at the detention center. She sucks. It was funny though. She seemed more like a victim than a kind of person who committed murder. Hmm. But you don't say. Not even by poisoning. That's how it was done, you know. Poisoning is the common way to get the job done. When the murderer is a woman. Whoa, settle it down there, sexist freaking lady. Poisoning. Anyways, Mr. I told me you'd be a counselor. But if you need to look around, I'll just be over here with my stackles. We can't. We can't talk to anyone related to this case in the camera. Means we better find out as much as we can with the scene, or else. where Mr. Drew Misham just passed away. He put the coffee mug on his lips and the next moment, yeah, dead. Hmm, quite a bit of paint on the ground. See that half of painted a painting of there? He must have been working that right at the moment he had died. Wow, it tries in the end. God. Ooh, flipping between those is hard. The try something is you say. Slow Funk starts playing. <laughs> I love that. Started a year ago, and I was procrastinating. Okay. So, oh, this is the victim's coffee mug. Dad has poison on it here. This is the first time seeing a real poison coffee mug. Mm, I would hope so. Poison the coffee? Not exactly, actually. Mm, what do you mean? No traces of poison were found in the coffee. What? You'll have to figure out the rest yourself. I'm officially not your side after all. Okay, so. so that coffee mug is one. Okay. Uh, an open drawer. 
let's uh, take a quick little look at this desk here. Pew, 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 pew. Ah, uh, yes, this envelope has been opened and resealed. Ooh, I know how to do that. You can put it under a pot of boiling water and hold the envelope up to the steam. The glue melts and it opens. Cool, huh? Hmm. Whoever did this wasn't so delicate. You're right, it looks like they just ripped it open and stuck it back together. Hmm. <coughs> Postmark on this letter is from seven years ago. Why would someone open this letter and seal it again? saluting. This ain't the 1940s anymore, guy. What are you doing? Hmm. Something about this and that figurine. The way the figurine is posed. I've seen that pose before. I'm very sure you have. It's you, Apollo. See, you're making one of your flamboyant gestures. Hmm. Please, I'm a professional. I wonder why it's posed like that. Coincidence? Right, that thing's barely two inches high. A pitch would fit there. Not apparently, it's empty. Hmm, no glass in it either. Let's do it, sit on this desk. Hmm. This is a lesson to all of us. Be sure to check the size when you buy a frame. Yeah, I bet. Oh, this is the Drew mishap. And this little girl must be fair out. Uh, yes, they took that some years ago. They look close, a happy little family. Until you arrest this dog. Ah! Look, I'm personally against that, okay? Just did it seem very suspicious, scientifically speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. Hey, look, Apollo, what's this feathery thing? Isn't that a pen? Like an old fashioned quill pen? But it doesn't have a pony yet. That's most likely for sweeping Tetris off of the desk. Wow, you sure know a lot, Emma. Bold and scientific, that's my motto. Not exactly about that. What exactly about that was bold and scientific? Okay, anything else? Nope. Phew. This gets you for painting Apollo? That would be a drafting table. Drafting? <laughs> Basically, it's a tool for making precision diagrams. Wow, painting is much harder than I thought. Why would a painter need a drafting table? Be an architect, too. What's this equipment here for? Doesn't look very artistic, really. It does everything from a lathe to a laser cutter. Looks like he was ready to work on metal and wood, too. Though his equipment's a bit old, to tell the truth. Hmm. Why would a painter need all this? From the dust, I'd say he hasn't used this stuff for years. Hmm. The corner doesn't fit with the rest of the studio. Ooh, do you think I could borrow this? I want to cut a quarter and a half out of a trick coin. This is all crime scene tricks, your friends. Ooh, these cost like 50 bucks at the magic shop. Okay. Look at all these paints, Apollo. There's so many. Got like 20 kinds of red. <laughs> uh, we could repaint your suit, Apollo. How about the shade of green? That's enough things. Artistic, really? Looks like, uh. Oh, laser. Oh, okay. I think we already got it. I got it. Okay. Man, see? I wouldn't mind taking a quick and close look at those paintings. Okay. I just love the oils. You know how they're so thick. It's just the word. The word? These paints are all. At all the different, uh, at how different all these are. Yeah, and what's going on in this half finished one? This must be a work in progress. You can still see the rough sketches below. That's so weird. The sketches part doesn't really fit the finished piece. I noticed. That is weird. Okay. Red. That little 
boss looks funny sitting inside a room like this. Hmm, let's take a little look here. Empty. The other half of the letterbox is actually connected to the outside of the studio. Hmm, interesting. Mr. Mishap would have put his letters in there. And the postman took them away. Impressive hmm. that someone still writes letters in Stan Age. Or wrote rather. God. Have an idea. What's this? See? Hey! There's a hey! <laughs> There's a painting hidden back here! Hey, you're right. What if it's embarrassing somehow and he didn't want anyone to see it? Hmm, you certainly seem pleased by the possibility. Oh! Hmm, it's so normal! That's hardly something to get here about. But it does look like the unfinished one. Hmm. What is it, Apollo? Well, doesn't this painting look like... Ah, never mind. Better get a professional opinion on this. Hey. Hey, Anna. Uh, I was wondering about this painting. Oh! Oh! That's what... What about it? What about it? Yeah, what about it, Apollo? Take a closer look at it, both of you, for Christ's sake. It does have that starry, the starry night vibe. <laughs> starry, starry night. Oh, paint your palette blue and gray. Look out on the summer's day. Now look at this one. This is the third painting that was working on. Hey, it's the same! I was hoping you wouldn't find her that. You're a writer, though. <laughs> Classic forgery guy, hoisted by his own yeah, guitar. Damn, he always does it. A true mishap was copying this of painting. Wow, it's pretty good! Copying a painting? What for? So this, uh, drew Miss Ham with some kind of artist? I barely did a lot of illustration for books, I hear. Had a lot of female fans, too, for what it's worth. Oh, well, I guess his stuff is kind of pretty. Like the old thing over there, for instance. Oh, uh, yeah. That wasn't one of his illustrations, actually. It was a standalone painting or something. Is that what you mean? It was an odd bird of Miss Ham. I didn't show this place for anyone until the end. What do you mean to anyone? <laughs> he was always locked up here in the studio, pet. His only connection to the outside world was through a letterbox. He had put the letter through. <laughs> Letters? To people like that? What do you mean, Apollo? I mean, when was the last time you wrote a real letter? Don't most people use email and stuff these days? A lot of Mr. Mishap couldn't stand technology, it seems. He did everything by mail. Maybe he thought it was way... was more artistic, you know? In any case, the only person beside him allowed in here was his daughter, Vera. Who you mean, the killer? The sus... Mm, the suspect, please. Oh, we took a fingerprint, of course. The only ones found in the room were Vera's. Basically. Oh, basically. Oops, I skipped through it. Actually, last night... Mr. Mishap gave an interview for the reporter for the first time. It happened during the interview of Kevin. His first interview we ever! Can you tell us a bit more about what happened that night of the murder? Okay. So, woman, Vera. He's, uh, the daughter, right? Yep, really a sickly girl. Ever since she was a little, I never went out side. She did kind of give off a withdrawn sort of aura. She was home schooled by her father, okay? It is quite a scene when they took her to the detention center. She was screaming about how she'd die if they took her outside. That does sound like a scene. In the end, she agreed to leave if she was allowed her good or luck charm for company. Mm. Her good luck charm! Apparently, she was declined, or this charm was magical, gave it. Magically gives her the courage to go outside. Can I ever get a normal client? 
But why would a sudden daughter kill her own dad? Don't look at me. What about this poison? It was brought found to be his coffee, right? But no, not precisely. Not precisely. Oh, not precisely. What does she mean? You need to see for yourself, I think. Okay. A like I said, last night was the first time someone from the outside came to the studio. I guess mysterious painters who never go outside make for good articles. And it just so happens that he died the night of his first interview. I thought on 9 p.m. every night. Villa always made him a cup of coffee. Last the night, he drank his usual coffee and suddenly became a violent ill. Mm. And died! <laughs> Jesus. She poisoned him the night of his interview. Wouldn't the reporter see? He wasn't near Miss... Miss... Uh, uh, she... Ah, uh, God. He wasn't near Miss... The Miss Ham when she brought her father his coffee. He was checking out some equipment by the back of his room. Ugh. Jesus. Give me a Eh. <laughs> I mean, if you drink coffee at night, you kind of have a death wish already, right? Ooh. Jacob. Knocking it out of the park here. I'm gonna have to give you a full laugh track for that. <laughs> uh, supposedly, that's why she didn't notice he was in there. It was a reporter who called the police, in fact. Wait, why is she the suspect? If anyone is suspicious, it's the reporter. <laughs> Yet the reporter never got the near Mr. Miss Tam's coffee. Even if they acknowledged that. Hmm. Regardless, I want to know more about the reporter. I thank thee for the honor. <laughs> that Emma could help us out here. Don't forget, Flannery will get you everywhere with her Apollo. Huh? What are you two are we studying about? Well. I was thinking, I mean, what with, if, uh, if we always do, we run a crime scene. What is it that we always do, scientifically? Oh, you mean, I know you, me too well. Okay, okay, maybe we can get it. Scientific now. Oh, I suppose, just as a once. Bring me anything you find suspicious and we'll check it out. trying to give me for the information. You know I'm not talking. I suppose you're the detective here. Why don't you take a look at it yourself? If you find a clue, I might be willing to lend a hand. And she's going to help us, Apollo. Let's check out this mug, shall we? A little friend. I suppose we must for the justice once. Me no understand. So about this. Ooh, that. Yes, that's a bright red envelope. Should have got jumpy. Someone opened this, didn't they? My lips are sealed. Hmm. Flip sealed. That's a first. You mean, you know what's inside this envelope? Oh, sure. I read it, after all. Yeah, you mean you're the one who ripped it open? Ha! Oh, please. I would have steamed it open. Hmm, but she did sneak a peek at it, apparently. Know that I have a powerful weapon on my side. Weapon? Uh, yes, this tool. Highly specialized tool for information I can have. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. You should try flattering her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never heard of that one, but a good advice. Let's talking more and see. So, about that envelope we found. I was wondering if you could uh, help us out with the tool you were mentioning. Oh, you, you want to know about my tool, do you? It's called an X-ray analyzer. X-ray? Like an X-ray you get in a dentist? 
<laughs> but that's what I, at least it's what I could call it. Well, it's really, but it's much more complicated. The X-ray spect spectralization. Something. How am I supposed to remember all of that? So basically, this lets you see inside things like envelopes. That's right, you're sharper through, see. But it's a bit more complicated than that. In a practice, of course. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm not sure how it works scientifically. Can you try it out, please? No, I suppose. Of course, I already checked out everything suspicious in the Alright, let's keep it a spin of all. Uh, what are you doing? Who oh, just seeing if it can see through your hair? Like it's l but it's like man. Hmm. Put the thing at me anymore and I might fall out. Then it wouldn't read the X-ray machine to see through it. Let's just get down to business. Defeat the Huns. Eh? Alright, let's test out the sample first. It just so happens that I have a lottery ticket right here. You set the sample on the device like a soul. <laughs> I don't see anything. Patience, there's no need to get all that antsy. Look at the right side of the screen, the layers view of the envelope. Layer view? Oh, you got to set the display on the outside of the envelope. Uh, now see? Actually, it's quicker just to, to just give it a try. Return the dial you with me, would you? That's right. That's how to choose what the depth you want to scan. Hmm. Hey, I got something! But see, that's how you can read the letters on the ticket inside. A cooler, huh? Hmm, say, I can't read them. Just turn the dial a little more. What you have to understand is that this is a, that the sheet of paper isn't really that flat at all. When you zoom in that much, you see the paper like a bunch of hills and valleys. Wow, really? Oh, this X-ray machine uses a beam with a wavelength of only 0.05 microns. It breaks color down only to show thin layers, so it can sh only show what's written in the layer. Hmm, not just following you, but what good is it if we can't read it? That's why we go on to step two. Try to read the image a bit if you want. The image, you mean rub the screen? Oh yeah, that fixes the image on the screen. Now turn the dial again, just a little. Good, now that I've been fixed it too. Hey, I get it! Now we keep doing it until it comes the full thing. Exactly, not bad. Need, let's do it more. Okay, I get it. Rub, rub, rub. Print this one out. Woohoo! I'm a big winner! Ah! See, this is a true hidden power of my weapon. A neat, huh? Now let's try on the real thing, shall we? Hey, I get it. Here we go. 
Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Mr. Drew God, I've deposited a hundred thousand in the designated amount. Please send a receipt over once you've confirmed from the transfer. Really? That tiny little bit? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's print this one out! You won't even... Okay, yeah, sure. Someone deposited 100,000 Mr. Miss Ham's account! His painting must be really valuable! There's another page here. There. Care to take a look? Hm. You bet I do! If you're going to read something, someone's mail, you might as well read it all! <coughs> oh goodness, my throat. Here goes the second page of them. God. Hey game, let's go a little more tedious, please. send it the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp within three days i need not remind you to speak of the, the uh, this one all right okay let's paint this one out so the letter's about payment for one of his paintings while the scenery though and then what hmm. why was this letter the only one that was here Seven years old, right? Maybe it has some special significance to him. Well, no, well, Emma. Well, indeed. She knows something she's not telling us. Looks like she's keeping mum about it, though. All right. Number seven, sunshine coliseum. Sh <laughs> sunshine, sunshine. Woohoo! This is it, Apollo. The place where the magic and dreams converge. Huh, just a while ago, I was in a place where murder and nightmares converge. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Uncle Valen. What about the cave? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't be a performer laughs like that. <laughs> Young mistress, how often I we met again, only. To tell myself it was an impossible dream. Tee hee, Uncle Valley, how goes it? I'm glad to see you took the cue. Of course you are. Hmm, humility is definitely not one of his stronger traits. Well, Mr. Tracy, how does the day fight? If you've come to forgive 
need flowers to it after the show, I beg you. Yeah, actually, I came to wish you good luck. Congratulations on your big magic show. Oh, but it is. Oh, I wish to congratulate you. Not everyone is so lucky as to which a miracle such as our high proud before them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty goddamn amazing guy with that sweet yellow suit and that sweet top hat that's made out of silk, probably fake. We get it. We get it. We get it. Anyway, the world will match in one of it has magnifying magic. Illusions are reborn! You're on stage by my hand. Hey, fella. Oh. Everyone's talking about the big magic show. Is it true that Grammarie Matt Miracle is back after a seven year absence? Miss Trudy, I must apologize. The show's in honor and should have been his. Daddy! God. My co magician in training is at Grammarie. If that terrible thing hadn't happened, it's okay. Your father was a great magician, Trudy. He wrote not the valid Grammarie. Would have proud to stand up upon stage as his assistant. Thanks, Uncle Valiant. You know I'm happy you're doing this show. Think we get to see the great Magnifique's illusions again. Look up for this. My bet the magnificent Magnifique forever he was true deity among magicians. A creature god. Who gave birth to magic and illusion defied her own very imagination. It was so little when I last saw one, but I still remember his show. He did really some sports cards through the air above the audience. And then sped off and down his face back in the light of sound. It's not memory of Ben Bellish, but you know. Seven long years, the world has been waiting for miracles for magic. I managed to grab the truth's secret. It falls to me to provide one. It was my god given destiny. You nameless face who speaks of nameless masses. How can I help? As the world was waiting, why did he hold off seven years? <laughs> it appears the Lair had an informed. Well, perhaps you have heard of the magic known as Law, which governs our land. Yeah, I have, though I'm not sure it qualifies as magic. The performance of negative magic is impossible. A certain law prevents it for seven years, but no more. Oh, seven years. That face sure some likes to pop up, doesn't it? Mm. What was that? A little matter called performance rights, Mr. Tracy. Okay. Can you tell us about these performance rights? <sighs> Magnifique's magic rallied on the incredible innovation idea a trick, if you will. What trick was considered his property, and as such was protected by property laws. Mm. Intellectual property. Make if he knew this and bequeathed it in his will to one person. Ah, I mean him? Yes, Miss Trucy, it was your father. Check Gravity. What's the inheritor of the Gravity Miracle? Daddy! Yet, as you know, he's gone. He disappeared some seven years ago. See where this story's going. Once the person is classified missing for some period of time, I can see the legally deceased, right? In all absolute, those who are sleeves conceal your competence well, young man. That certain period of time in which you speak is seven years. Yeah! Yes, Miss Truth. Though it pains me to say it, this past spring, April to be precise, was the time your father was legally declared dead. In the absence of formal will, the secrets of our mighty mentor Magnifique passed to me. This was, in fact, stipulated in the will of Magnifique himself. Is that how it works, Apollo? Yeah, it's called death and abstinence, yeah. It's declared missing. Permanent. Daddy! I was a 
stupid magician. I would talk about my ticket. Ah, I was wondering if you could tell us about this. <gasps> Why, that's best to grab a seal. Oh. Hmm. Don't come down, is something wrong? Rusey, where did you get this? Oh, I'm dead again, please. Yo. You're your daddy? My partner shot around. No, 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 my other daddy feels right. Hey, that. Why? Why not? What would you look Lord Daddy? That's kind of strange. Archaic thing a bit. Signature so part the back. Do you recognize it? That belongs to nothing other than Sector Emily. What? Daddy signed this. Might I be so bold as to open it? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. What is this envelope, I wonder? Wanna get killed? You wanna be dead? Fancy me. Ah, venting. I did my fair share of that back today, so it might turn bad to a lot too. You may look cool come now, but you was here before. Ah ha ha. You know me too well, Alright, cool. You know what? That's it. October 7th, detention center, visitor room. <laughs> hey, you're here to see if you're Ms. App? Yeah, that's right. Hey, she's in a medical office at the moment. <laughs> medical office? Q, kid? Ah, she's lying down. Said she didn't feel good and all that. Whatever. Hey, I'm sorry, but I can't lie. You're meeting any meetings right now? <sighs> Most annoying client ever. Guess we should come back. Okay. That's where I want to go. Hey, guy, little guy. Okay, aha, uh -huh, mean nothing. Damn, dude. Yeah. Mm. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm just trying something that you never know. I am an attorney. Damn. Can I talk to him? Can I go in? Okay. Hmm. So certainly, if I do something stupid like this, right? Uh, I'm sure there's something I have to show you. That one envelope was good. What about this one? Nope. Damn it. Something in my eye. I think sometimes my eyelash like loops in on itself and just pokes my own eye and pulls in, so it's just like bang. Damn 
I'm crap. Why do you make me hate? Good decision. Why is that other than ground Zach Grammary? Perhaps I might have a look at that. No means no. We thought it get left. <laughs> Didn't want us to open it yet. I have an 11 hour work today that I have. Get up in four six hours. I have to leave soon. Okay, no worries. We're almost done properly. <laughs> ah, Ruby. You're going to attack you from a book. Could be in an envelope. Okay, so I'm going to try to hurry this up. I just don't know what to do. That's, that's a rumor. But I've heard there's a thing called coffee called a blue mountain. I'm pretty sure it isn't actually blue and... Oh, right. Oh, okay, you got me. That leftover from the testing a spray. Forensic science, I knew your hobby was behind this somehow. Hmm, it's not a hobby. Hmm. So what kind of scientific stuff were you up to? The spray, but... That's what it turns blue when it touches poison. Hmm. So, the poison that killed this victim was on this mug. That's right. See, it wasn't in the coffee. The killer applied it to the rim of the mug itself. Wow, science amazing. Hmm, certainly helpful. Maybe Emma would be willing to help us out a bit more. You try but- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try the same plan. Uh, about the poison analysis. I was afraid you were going to ask about that. See, the solution is used to test a uh, atroquanin. At, 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 ooh, that's a tough word. At, atroquanin. Atroha? Atroquanin. A scientific poison found in the autopsy. Uh oh. I don't know the spark. I don't know. I know that spark in her eye. She's getting excited. Let's tread lightly. 
one of the most revered voices, but it has roared through the body astonishingly slowly. It takes at least 15 minutes for the time of ingestion for the adverse effects to show. Oh, <clears throat> oh, and guess what? Recent research has shown. That's fine, really, whatever. I think I get it, you just spray the stuff on something you want to test, right? Precisely, you can even find the slightest traces of poisoning with this. Do you want to try it too? I'm a pretty piece. Oof. Boys, what are you doing? Ooh. Eh. Oh, you don't have to ask her twice. I would use this on everything suspicious, of course. Yeah, let's give it a whirl, Apollo. What are you doing? You just seeing if I got a reaction. How is this? How is this for a reaction? Never do this again. I'm not poisonous. Tell that to those hapless witnesses on the stand. Let's just get down to checking for real poison, shall we? I thought something was there for me. Well. Hmm. Too bad, no reactions there. Hmm, I'm sure I haven't checked out all the likely spots. Wait a sec. What is it, Apollo? I think it's the hidden one. Did you spray that little desk over there? I sprayed everything, yes. Do I don't think so. The spray probably cannot reach that far, you know. Let's check it out now. Let's, just to be sure. I definitely sprayed this desk. Hey, I knew something was going to be with that little one. Ooh, look, with the light on it. You can actually see something. Hey. Eek! The reaction, Apollo! Oh! Where? Where? Inside the cute little frame, look! Well, would you look at that? Nice going, Trucy. Yeah, I'm known to work magic! Wow. Wow. Never mind that. I was the one who found it. Okay, so the little frame. Why would some? Why would the inside of that frame have poison on it? Hmm, looks like we found the only other place that was poison in any case. So, I was wondering, what's the story about this reporter that came for the story the night of the night? Oh, I'm afraid I can't tell you because I'm going to a witness tomorrow night here. Who I thought so? I'll never forget that face. What was his name? Oh, the right. Brucial. Brucial? He's after the scoop to sell it to the peppers. So the reporter came, comes from the interview with a... Oh, so the reporter comes from for an interview with a painter. First interview ever. That night. He's killed. Hmm. Seems strange to you? Really strange. Huh. It does raise a few questions. I'd like to speak with the reporter if I could. Well, I hear he's on the beat today, too. He said something about covering a magician. Magician? Well, not true, see. That leaves only one other person. It wasn't Valiant Gramley by any chance, was it? Yeah, something like that. He's got some a bigger show lined up, I hear. Mm, so he's out interviewing Valiant Gramley. Looks like I'll be heading out to the Coliseum again sooner than I thought. Yeah, I'll give you the report card if you want. Oh, there was a 
volunteer on a story. My eyes are the universe are upon my stage. No can seek to commit its mysteries to paper. Dummy's name is Brushel. 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 Brushel, Brushel. I think he rem I think he remembered him. Doesn't look too happy about it. Brushel. That cloying smell of mint when he smiled, yes. <laughs> Could you tell us more about him? What did he want? A man by that name called on to me just now. Just now. Valiant's vision is always towards tomorrow. Valiant's feet step forward. Forward. That is all. Mm. That is all very confusing. I am up to perform a big magic show, yeah? I wanted someone to cover it. Yet, yeah. you had all ears only for that incident. That incident? In any case, I requested that a rapturous reporter remove himself. So a painter had done. What of it? Is that but a foot note in a foot like blood book lights compared to the magic of grammar? Don't go back, do you know where the reporter went? I recommend he visit a place popular with penal eyes perpetrators. Detention center? You was a rude individual. Might I see the card? Ah, sure. <laughs> he would tear apart my respectability. I will tear apart him. Ooh, here comes the problem of Uncle Valen's big magic trick. You gotta fix the card? I'm not sure that qualifies as big magic. What happened to the big magic? <laughs> it is no mirror. <laughs> it is not more miraculous for it to stay rich. Well, you must really not like that journal. Now the time has come when I must return to make my prestigious preparations. By your leave, Miss Trusy. Thanks, Uncle Valent. Three days from now, make ready for a miracle. If you repeat him. What do you uh, think of that journalist was after? And why did he act all freaking weird with his envelope? I think it's time we pay the detention center another visit. I think this is probably the end of it. Why do I have to... October 7th, detention center. I don't know. I think I hear what you're saying. We're all doing it for the money. And the vote. No, no, no. <laughs> Man. Old guard's like, ah, no, 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 not at all. Hmm, looks like someone's already meeting here. Maybe that reporter. Oh. Oh, yeah. This guy looks keen. Hi there. <laughs> Whoa, this is, could be a cool new voice for me. He's like, hey there. How you doing? Who might you be? Ah, sorry. We, uh, didn't know anyone was already here. I'm Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Talk about nervous monkey. Oh, you're Justice, you! Uh, you mean, you know me? Oh, do I know you? Of course I know you! <laughs> Stay up there, witnesses, and stand till they spill beans! End quote. <laughs> That's not true. What's he writing? Don't you report it by any chance? Oh, you, you're truce! Yeah, am I famous? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Right, he's carrying a bag. <laughs> Puts everything she owns in her pants and a That's not true. <laughs> Just hold your breeches, eh? I'll wrap up the interview in a jiff. The interview? So, guard, I think I know what's going on here. <laughs> Gun room is my life. What else could I possibly need, end quote? Oh, oh the guard's all like, ah, nah. No, how many times did I tell you this already? Look, I got work to do. You deal with them. Dad, did you come here to interview the guard? Ooh wee, what a pickle! <laughs> Accused when top had to interview someone or go plumb crazy and quote. Hmm. Huh? Should've guessed. <laughs> Where's my manners? Name's Brushel, Spark Brushel. I'm not picky. Journalist just closes his eyes, right? End quote. That's a nauseating strong smell every time he grins. <laughs> Until you've been interviewed by me, you won't know what's thrilling is. While wrong to crossroads of man, madness, end quote. I can't see that. Friends 
some confusion. Well, the reporter, maybe you know something. I'm an interviewer, you understand? Yeah! I'm the one asking the questions here. And quote. You okay? For instance, you think a movie director watches movies? Well, I think he probably. Exactly! You knew you would understand. I knew you would understand. Huh? Hmm. So the night of the murder, you were a true student? Who? Me? Look! Let, let me see one thing for the record. Uh, yeah, uh, I may look calm and collected, but I'm busy, real busy, always on the road. Uh, journalists always buy one-way ticket, never looks back. End quote. Well, I can understand that philosophy, but... Uh, you want to know what the thing about one-way tickets? Once you use them, they're gone. All because you give them that one guy that they for. True enough. But don't they give normal tickets away too? Exactly. See? That's the same thing. have ears, eyes, especially glass walls with speakers, end quote. <laughs> right, guess we'll leave that. Ah, but since you're here, <laughs> might as well tell you what little tidbit of news I saw, just for the heck of it. Sure, tell us just for the heck of it. Hmm, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I'd seen a movie at a tip and the wandering of Burger Place that with amazing ketchup. <laughs> when an article tablet caught my eye. Fabulous oil painting stolen from the art dealer gallery, end quote. I believe it was. Whoa, Dan. Brr. Oh, devil blue. I love that guy. How you doing, fe fellow McPal friend? An oil painting? <laughs> Happens every day. But I thought I'd seen that painting somewhere before. A painting of the giant peach flowing down the river. Whoa, someone stole the oil, oil painting of a giant peach? <laughs> Journalists can smell scooping at the burgers, end quote. Mm, interesting. Christian's brother? Yeah, I don't know how to say your name. I, I know that you're his younger brother, so I will go with... <laughs> you, you, you know religion, right? You, you know it's like Jewish, it's like the Old Testament, and then the New Testament is Christian. And then the new hip branches of Christianity would be like Mormonism, or like, you know, even if you branch off of before, but like... You know, like Muslim. So I think, in the grand scheme, if we're gonna be religious following, you'd be something along the lines of Muslim or Mormonism. If we're following with the naming conventions. Okay, so I've killed this guy. He's dead now. So... Hmm, ah, right, let's get on record here. Yeah? I know what you're doing, going to say. Rush will take this. Great, brilliant, call. And... I don't think so. <laughs> Look, buddy, I was writing really calm one thing after another. And that's food. Try to understand. Hmm. What could you possibly write? You didn't listen to a word I said. Okay. Well, what's left with this stupid guy? I am an attorney. Dibble or Philip? How can I mix them together? Dib it? Kind of. I'll work on it. I'll workshop it. Throw poison in his face. Okay. Mm. Surely there's something here I'm missing. Damn this guy. This guy's kind of cool because I like speaking fast. Oh, this has a peach in it right there. What? That wasn't it. I am confused. Am 
Am I gonna have to be like, wait a sec, that's a big peach. Damn, Paul, this painting, I knew it! Huh? Really? It's a story where the old woman was doing the wash-up on the river, and the giant peach come floating on down. That might possibly be the strangest thing I've ever heard. Why wouldn't I present this peach to him? He just said it. See, this is confusing. This is confusing. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong or if I'm doing something right. You know what? I don't like his smile. I hate it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you're about to play with your friends? Jesus. No worries. Go have fun. As long as it's full of skill. If you're having fun without skill, then I don't condone it. I hope the worst. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Triple H. Hunter Helm. What was it? Hunter Holmes Helms? It's all about the game. Where the? Magic show? Studio. Oh, where the hell did it go? Find anything out? Actually, there was one thing I wanted to check out with you. Oh, what is it? Scary face you're making. Hmm, and what's with the I know something, but I'm not gonna tell you face you got there? Do I talk to her or do I present it? Present it, okay. I think it's gonna be this. No, it isn't that, okay. But what have I got new? you wouldn't have figured that out. Hmm, do you think you could tell us a bit about this? I suppose. It's what you think. Drew Mishap was a forger. Ooh, there we go. Forger! Now we're talking about it, finally. So what exactly is a forger? Well, basically, it's someone who makes forgeries. Fakes. A fakes, in other words. Fakes! Copies of the originals. Exact copies, to be precise. You can't tell them apart. Well, why not just photocopy them? A big problem with forgery is that people can try to sell them as a real article. It's a crime, of course. <clears throat> so, Drew Miss Ham was a criminal? I'm afraid so. He received money to create elaborate forgeries to supplement his work and illustrations, I guess. See, actually, that's why I brought this here to the first place. What do you mean? When you're trying to determine if a painting is a forgery, the rough sketch underneath can be valuable and clean. Hmm. It's a rough sketch that's practice of the real thing, like doing a magic trick in front of a mirror before you go on stage. But a lot of the case of forgery, not necessarily anyways. You know what the finished graphic is going to look like after all. Oh, yeah, I guess you would. That's why I brought to this. 
I'm going to use it to see what's under the paint of the finished piece. Mm, I get it now. Not that I really need to go to such lengths. Seeing how one of the paintings was only half a finished anyways. Hmm. Still need to see through Mr. Mishap's rough sketches. Kind of like what he was doing drawing when he wasn't thought no one was looking. True. That would be interesting and maybe valuable in our case. You should try butter- Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 God, 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 no, God, 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 Jesus, Jesus, please, Christ, no, please, no, 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 no. God, 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 God. Uh, I kind of want to see the rough sketch under this painting. I was wondering if I could use that tool there. Tool, fine, just... This time, though. Let's check it out! This is what I want to do initially. Okay, so let's... That's actually, uh, that's a very high res, uh, actually. That's suddenly an oil tower or something. Like, you know an oil silo from, like, the 1900s? Or is it? Oh, no, it's a platform! I thought that was a burning fire, but that's someone playing guitar, see? Interesting, someone playing guitar on, like, a platform. Okay, let me play this out. Pretty freaking sweet. like the rough. The place is like might not exist until it recently. You probably thought you could draw any sort of thing you wanted from the rough. What do you mean? Well, in the past you could only analyze the composition of a rough sketch. Composition? In other words, the traces of the chocolate between the paint and canvas. So, you could tell if they had been a rough sketch. But not what it looked like. Hmm. I think I follow you. No. Essence, it wouldn't matter what was underneath the finished painting. Some drawers actually would actually paint out the rough sketch entirely and then do a completely new painting on top of that. So Mr. Misham was drawing whatever he wanted before painting over them? Uh, possibly. There's a problem with that, turned out. Hmm, not particularly, but something about the sketch itself is kind of odd. Mm, you're awfully solid, silent all of a sudden, Paulo. Hmm, you think you could check out that one of the other paintings? Well, sure. If you like this detection stuff, don't you? What's under this puffer fish? You know what I think it is? I think he's right making forgeries out of the, the originals, right? Like this is gonna be actually like uh the, the 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 one that looks like it's being forged, but he put like this puffer fish over it, right? Or maybe not. Looks like a house. What the hell am I looking at here? Okay. So that's a house. Oh no, no, no! That looks like the noodle cart. That looks like a noodle cart and someone pulling it. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, let's put it this one out. Hmm, this one too. What's wrong, Paul? You look all serious all of a sudden. Um, you think I could just look at the last one of these? Well, fine by me, knock yourself out. You know what it is? Is that 
If there are forgeries, why are there paintings in them? Right? Well, these aren't forgeries or something. cases. Oh, playing, oh, playing cards? Interesting, interesting. Noodle cart, this. What was the other one? It was a noodle cart. This. What was the first one again? Does anyone remember that one? Anyways, this looks like the first case. The noodle cart was the second, and the last case... Wait a second. What the heck is all this? Oh, that's a... I hesitate to ask why you're getting so excited. You sure the device isn't leaking some kind of strange radiation? Trucy, look at all these sketches. You notice anything? There are past cases. That's the playing cards. The noodle stand. Oh, and the guitar on fire. Ah! Oh, there! Hmm, now you're both white as sheets. What's going on? Hmm, these sketches. Huh, are of the three cases I wouldn't know. A what? Murder at the poker room at the Porsche Bowl Club. The dead man pulling the new stand. And then... The event that transpired during the Cavaliers Congress. What could it mean? How could I have painted them? And why? That's what I want to know. Wait, if do miss it. Your father. Give me a break. Does that seem like remotely possible to you? Heard of any? Drew missed him before. I didn't even see a picture of him. But there were, were my cases drawn on the cabinet. Every single one of them. Hmm. Couldn't have been a coincidence. Just who is Drew missing? Why did he have to? What? And what did he have to do with me? Well, this brings us to the end of the stream. You know what? I gotta present myself in the center so everyone can see me. Uh, perfect. So this is the end of the stream. For those of you who are here, thanks a lot for coming. I appreciate seeing all of you. Baby. Thanks for showing up for the little bit you did, pretty Christian brother of the logistics. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, you want to play a game or something? Ah. Exactly. That's it. Give me that. 